can sell your book to a publisher. I know someone who has, um, I think, four manuscripts in the hands of his agent now, and has had them for close to two years. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and she can't find a buyer. She can't find a publisher for him. And I've, I've read his manuscripts, and they're pretty good uh, action adventure novels, but she, she cannot find anybody who is willing to take a chance on them. Um, and even if a publisher does buy your book, it can be another two years before it sees print. And in the meantime, any number of things can happen that can stop the uh, publication or, or interfere with the publication of your book. Um, <coughs> ideally, it's still to your advantage to have a publisher, but barring that, there is self-publishing. And uh, I'd like to just briefly talk about vanity presses. Um, there's a stigma attached to vanity press, of course. The idea being that you couldn't find a publisher, but you think your book is so good uh, that you're willing to pay to have your own book printed and then sell it yourself. Um, I think a lot of people go with Vanity Press uh, because they're doing it for friends or family. They haven't even tried to find a publisher, but they do want maybe some poems they've written or a um, biography or something uh, in book form, and so they go with Vanity Press. Uh, and also with Vanity Press, you have to pay up front to have however many books you want printed. That's not a very good sentence. Um, but you, you pay to have your books printed first, and then you have to go out and try to sell them. Uh, it can be really, really expensive. Uh, but there are examples of Vanity Press books that have become hugely successful. Uh, the Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield is one. And more recently, The Shack by William Young uh, was self-published uh, originally. I think he finally created his own publishing company, but I'm not sure. Um, personally, I think his book needs some good editing, but that hasn't stopped it from being successful. Um, <laughs> it won't go there. Uh, okay, and then there's POD, or print-on-demand publishing. Uh, it has the same stigma as Vanity Press. Uh, you can find an agent, bless you. Uh, you couldn't find an agent or a publisher, uh, so they must be ignorant and too stupid not to recognize the genius of your work. Um, although I have heard that some mainstream publishers are starting to use POD as a way of keeping costs down. Um, but even with publishers using POD, you still have to find an agent who will take your book and then do it POD. Uh, and anyway. Uh, uh, where was I? Uh, okay. okay, anyway, going with POD. Um, depending on the tax, there are a lot of different print on demand publishers out there, by the way. And depending on what package you buy from some publishers, it could still cost you a bundle up front just to prepare your book for publishing. Uh, they work with your manuscript and they do this and they do that. I don't know what they do because I didn't check them out because I didn't want to pay a bundle to have my book published, okay? Uh, I have a lot of confidence in it, but I still wasn't going to pay a lot of money to have it published. Um, so uh, the POD that charges you for a package, again, that's just to prepare the book. That doesn't include the actual cost of printing your book, which would cost you even more. So I went with, I think I've found Lulu.com in one of my writing magazines. And by the way, I didn't list any of them on there. But if you don't subscribe to any of the writing magazines like Writer's Journal, um, uh, The Writer, uh, Writer's Digest, uh, Byline's gone out of business. They went out of business right after they published one of my poems. <laughs> so let that be a warning to these other magazines. Um, and Poets and Writers is supposed to be pretty good, but I have not really gotten a lot out of that particular magazine, but these others that I've mentioned uh, I think are really useful. Um, anyway, um, I went with Lulu.com, that's L-U-L-U, Lulu.com, and they have a package that will cost you nothing except when you actually have a draft copy of your book printed. Uh, they do require you to buy at least that one copy before, or yeah, they do want you to buy the one copy because they want you to be sure that the book looks exactly the way you want it, that you can double check it for errors, uh, that you can make any changes you want before you actually put it up for sale, 
And if you do discover a mistake, or if you do discover that there's something that you want to change about a Lulu book, then you can go back into the website.